Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play. I went back to the hideout to change everyone's appearance and check out their outfits. So we have Clive here. Super cool, super sick. I really like his other outfit as well. But I want to, to try this out. And also to show you guys, so you can see. This is Jill's. It's called Snow White. And I like this more than her other outfit. And yeah, I think I'll... For a, at least an episode or two, maybe more, I'll keep these outfits. And I'll play with them. And here we have Torgal. Looks like uh, a magic dog. Like a, a dire wolf or something. Very cool, very slick. And as usual, let's pet him before going on with our adventure. Get it, boy! A little treat. And let's pet him. You like that, don't you? Perfect. So let's see what's up with this old man. I'm curious about who he is. Yes, this is the same area as the last episode where we fought the, the Drake. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Okay, this time we have uh, hornets. Okay. Easy. Agreed. Over here. There, boy. Sick of Torgo. Get him, boy. You know what to do, boy. That's enough. Sick of Torgo. Get him, boy. More? Okay. Old men, you were lucky. <laughs> this time we only had uh, wolves and hornets because that trick was pretty freaking annoying and very quick. So <laughs> good, uh, good timing. Are you all right, my friend? Come on, let's go home. Your grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day.
Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Nice. It looks like we are starting to slowly gather some allies. That is good to know. I feel more at ease knowing that we are meeting a lot of people willing to help us. Hopefully we can beat the Empire together and all ha have a bright future. But the long is uh, hard and steep. You take care now. We'll speak again when you return. Okay, let's go. To Phoenix Gate. There will be uh, an Imperial Garrison waiting for us, so we'll have to fight. And the Imperials are form formidable foes, so I need to be careful. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder yeah, the crops are failing. Jesus. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Well, we'll see about that, Jill. I'm not sure about it. But yeah, the blight is just right outside their... their gates. Extremely close. So which way? Ooh. Okay, this is an optional route, I think. What's this? Another relic of the fallen. Okay, we can't go in yet. I'm hoping it's, uh, it's a dungeon. Okay, he doesn't have any icons, so... I don't know. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. This place is absolutely barren and empty and void. The only thing uh, is, is water. Assuming it's... It's good to drink. I don't, I don't know. Let's see if... Uh, 
okay, it's a, it's a lake. It's not a we're not in, at the sea yet. So this should be drinkable water. But yeah, it's useless if every plant and animal here is dead. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the Blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. It really looks like everything was literally burned to the ground. Like the aftermath of Phoenix and the Fritz fight. Exactly like that. Nothing new here? Okay. I read everything. What the remains of it, it went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Phoenix Gate ruins. Untouched, in the many winters since the stronghold's fall, the scars of that fateful night linger still upon her walls. Oh, we're getting closer and closer to Rosalith. as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Buried memories. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Whoa. This is like if an asteroid uh, went down. It's huge, absolutely huge, what the f- God damn. No wonder everyone was instantly incinerated. Absolutely massive. You can tell me what happened. I have to know. Uh. 
Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Life has it too. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Never more. Ooh. The home of the ancestors. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Yes, it's still very much intact. Splendid. Have you ever seen anything like this? Get him! Get him! Yeah! 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 Y
any of this this must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell yeah a very a super advanced civilization and these things are still perfectly functioning so who were they and also how the hell Joshua could uh, could the Joshua gone through all of this alone I have no idea I mean he was very young j just a kid and also his powers weren't fully awakened he couldn't fight as we can so how in the hell could he just pass through all of this I don't know This isn't uh, like a ruin, this is a whole city underground, a whole un underground city. Okay, more spiders. Of course. I don't have a map. Well, it makes sense. This is a place no one has uh, explored for maybe ever or for centuries or decades at least. Looks like he could take a beating. Then let's give it one. Whoa, 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 okay. It's <laughs> very fast. Over here. 
any of this makes sense to you? None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. Torgo, can you heal me, please? Okay, only only in battle. I think he can do that. Yeah, enemies are very fast, much faster than I than I thought. Oh, that's good. Now, where is the um, okay? Here. We're going deeper and deeper, and I'm. I bet the the hooded man is waiting for us. The deepest part of this place. Thankfully, we do have the power of uh, the Phoenix, so we can um, pass all the gates. Ooh, and the bombs! Whatever they are, I don't think they're friendly. These are cool. I love them. They should be immune to fire damage, but uh, it's okay. It makes sense because we only have two elements right now, so... In that case we could be able to use only Garuda's abilities. But yeah, bombs should be... Not affected by any fire spell. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Well, okay, so that makes sense. Maybe, yes, Joshua would have been um, would have been okay. Would have been uh, cool with this. And these um, ancient machines are activating only because we are not we are an intruder to them, so we are not the dominant of the Phoenix. Maybe makes sense. They are attacking us. But this place looks like. Here we like... go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell bent on murdering us, I expect. This looks like magic. Could so. Could man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. So do these ancient uh, ruins are are not are they not affected by the blight? Do they not use either? They can kind of function with another source of magic. I guess we'll see. We'll find out. Okay, another one. With minions, maybe. Yes, of course. Now let them get away. Garuda, let them.
You know what to do, boy. Too slow. Get him, boy. This is just the beginning and uh, already we can do some six, absolutely six stuff and six combos and evade here and there and just do attacks in the air, pull and uh, and shift to enemies, it's, it's great and we only have two icons so you can imagine how deep and fun the, the combat system will get later in the game, I can't wait. I love this game. It's so fun. Flames to me. There, boy. Get him. Sick of total. Get him. Look out. There's more of them. They'll fall like the rest. Yeah. Sick of Toggle! Keep your distance, boy! It's over! Get him! You know what to do, boy! There, boy! Get him, boy! Stay down! Whoa. Okay, Jill should get the bombs, since technically and theor theoretically they should be weak against ice, so <laughs> she should be prior prioritizing them. is a big one Seems the feelings mutual Iron Giant Yeah. 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 
Nice. I loved it. Great fight. Great, great fight. Fallen iron. And uh, other materials. And I think I did pretty well in that fight. If I do say so myself. Easy. We can take these guys very easily. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth Oops. a closer look, whatever it is. Yeah, I bet that is the mural we've seen in the trailer. With all the icons and uh, some mysteries. Oh nice, they're giving us potions. It was the, the smaller guys. The group of smaller enemies which was a bit harder than the big one. More fight? Yes, please. Give me another uh, iron giant. Okay, this is not an iron giant. Right then. Oh, 
a leak. Seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. Yes, I, I don't know. I guess maybe another. Doesn't look like a construct, so maybe it's one of the ancient. Oh wait! Look out! I, I forgot the mural. I can't get a look to the mural and I haven't skipped it because I, there is no map so I, I was just going by instinct so which way I don't even know which way did we come from oh, okay the mural is there okay nice we have to get there Plenty of fights in this episode. I am not complaining at all. They are so much fun. something yes we are activating uh, something a platform maybe to get to the mural oh this reminds me of um, Hogwarts Legacy a little bit this ancient runes this not the same, but you know, similar design of ancient civilization. Okay, yes, it's a platform. So, it isn't a dead end after all. 
Apparently not. Hmm. Let's see if I have uh, another tonic. Okay, stone skin tonic, yes. What's in it? How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Second dominant of fire. Who are you? Uh. 